Hey guys, welcome. In this video, we're going to look at how you can use Book It to give your students uh, quick and easy vocabulary quizzes. I'm going to show you how I do it, give you a few tips along the way. So let's say, for example, we're in um, Spanish 1. I'm going to find my Book It sets. I do, by the way, have the paid version of Book It, which I think you're going to want to have to do this because the reports that you get from the free version I don't think are as detailed. Uh, maybe just check and see because I'm not sure, but I have the paid version just so you know. So like let's say, for example, I want to give a quiz on this set right here. All I'm going to do is click host. And then I'll pick the game mode that I want to use. Ideally, you're going to want one that probably you can answer a lot of questions in. So I like to typically do factory because that's the one that you can answer a lot of questions in. So I'll click that and then I'll host the game. And what I typically do is say you need to answer X amount of questions in a certain amount of time. So like, let's say I want them to answer 50 questions. Maybe I'll give them 15 minutes to do it. And then uh, I typically turn off the power up so that the students don't mess with each other while they're playing. And then, um, you know, I'll hit host now. Uh, they all join in, make sure everyone's in, and then I click, you know, start the game and we play. Uh, do make sure that your students don't leave the game early after they've answered 50 questions. And the only way that they would know they've answered 50 questions is if they've been keeping a tally mark of how many they've answered. For the most part, students typically, if they play the full 15 minutes, they're gonna answer way more than that. So I'll have them play the game, and the grade that I give them is basically their percentage of correct answers uh, in the game. So if they answer 100 questions and they get 90 right, then I'm gonna give them a 90% on that quiz. And then when you're done, uh, obviously, it'll give you their scores right away, but let's just say, for example, um, you close it out early or for some reason you missed one of the student's scores. Cool thing about Book It, again, this is on the paid version. I'm not sure how much of this you get on the free one. It records all of the games that you play in the history for a pretty long time. I'm not sure how far back it goes, but I went all the way back to December of 2020 uh, for all of the games I've played, and I've played a lot of games. I have a lot of classes, and we played Blooken a lot. So uh, you can see I went all the way down here to December 17th of last year, and I can still load more games. But let's just say, for example, uh, we did a quiz is it right here. I can go into it, and it'll show me the students' names and the percent that they got on, on that, if it was the quiz. So you can go back in there and check it just to make sure you have the right scores. You can also, uh, if you want to, when you're done looking at the grades, you can export uh, this right here, download. But you can see it, it downloaded the scores that they had. If I wanted to, I could rename this file to quiz, whatever the lesson is on. You can also put it into your Google Drive if you wanted to, and again, rename it to whatever the quiz is so that if you need to go back and revisit it, uh, you can always do that. So that's just a super easy way to give a quick vocab quiz for the students and um, give it a shot. And if you're interested also in doing vocab quizzes in GimKit, you can actually have a little bit more flexibility in the type of questions you ask. Uh, I'll put a link to my video on that in the description, so check that out. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Adios.